So the legislature ended its 12th legislative day today. Uh, there were several issues that the home builders worked on during the week. Um, so let's just hop into that. One of those was the home, home inspector bill that we had talked about uh, in the weeks prior to this. Uh, that bill got carried over in the House Commerce and Small Business Com uh, Committee this week. I want to thank especially Representative Garrett who sponsored that bill for agreeing to carry it over. Also Chairman Jim Carnes uh, did a great job for us and we appreciate him uh, helping with his leadership and getting that bill carried over as well. Uh, we think that bill will probably be done for the rest of the year and we look forward to working with the home inspectors to find some common ground on some issues that address their concerns on liability but also maybe address our concerns about how licensing should be treated fairly equal between the various licenses. But that's, a, that's an issue for, a, for another day. Uh, another issue that has come up this week uh, revolves around the electrical board. Uh, they introduced a bill this week. Uh, it's not gone anywhere. I don't believe it's scheduled for any committee action. We have called for a public hearing along with our friends at the Realtors. Um, because it's, it appears that it's doing away with the handyman exemption and when I say handyman, I'm talking about that maintenance employee that you may have if you own apartment complexes, you may own uh, commercial property where, you know, your maintenance guy is going in and he's replacing some light fixtures, he's replacing ceiling fans and that sort of thing. Under the new bill, it says that you're going to have to have a licensed electrician on staff before those folks can do that. We don't believe that's right. That's not the way the law has ever operated uh, and we would want to uh, maintain our current exemptions. Uh, we don't expect that bill to move forward, but we will be working with the sponsor along with the members of the electrical board to address, hopefully help them address their concerns without doing away with those exemptions. Um, next week, we fully expect on Tuesday the statewide building code uh, to, be uh, to be introduced in the Senate. Uh, where that goes, we don't know. You know, we're on our 12th legislative day. They're having three-day work weeks. Uh, the legislature is burning through days fairly quickly, so it's it's highly likely that you'll see the legislature conclude its work sometime right after the first of April, first or second week. Uh, if that's the case, time may run short on the clock uh, towards moving that legislation, but uh, we'll do what we can to see if we can move it forward. As always, as issues develop, we'll be here and we'll bring them to you as we can.